Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Azure Marketplace and how you can use this to do your day-to-day -day tasks. So let's dive in. Alrighty folks, as you can see on our list of topics for this episode, this is a very short, sweet and quick topic to discuss. The idea here is for you guys to be able to explain Azure's Marketplace and its usage scenarios. Now, first of all, what is Azure's Marketplace? The Azure Marketplace very closely resembles an online shop in a sense of you go on, you choose the product that you want, you add it to your basket, and then you purchase it. Sounds very much like other online stores, doesn't it? Now, normally on an online store, if you don't find a product you're looking for, you're probably gonna start off by browsing around a little bit. And if you still don't find the products, you're probably gonna go and use the search function on that particular website. Now, this is very much the same on the Azure Marketplace. If you don't find the products that you require, you simply just go run a search for those products. Now on the Azure Marketplace, similar to the example you've just seen, instead, you're gonna be searching for Azure services, most likely. This can be any amount of services. I mean, I've got a few random ones I've just added here for you guys. It's absolutely not limited to these services. These are purely random. And um, I'm gonna be giving you guys a demo in a few moments anyway, so you, then you'll see there's actually a lot of services that's available. With regards to these services you'll search for and find in the marketplace, there are also templates available for those services, which are provided by Microsoft and other vendors. A single template can provide you either one or multiple services, depending on which one you choose. So basically from your perspective, this Azure Marketplace is an Azure store. And in this Azure shop or store, you'll be purchasing Azure services or out-of-the-box solutions which take advantage of Azure services. In the Azure Marketplace, you can find products that are created by both Microsoft as well as third-party vendors. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where your company needs to build a solution that is based on Azure services or very well integrates with them, you can just go ahead and build your own templates. And you can also actually go and publish these to the Azure Marketplace. Your customers can then easily find you in the Marketplace and they can also easily purchase services with the click of a button. These products that you'll find in the Azure Marketplace can be from any of the three main categories. So they can basically go and take advantage of software as a service, infrastructure as a service, and platform as a service. Now, when it comes to purchasing products in the Azure Marketplace, this is actually very simple. Now, the first thing you need to know about that is there's actually two ways you can access the marketplace on the Azure side of things. The first of which is to go here physically onto the Azure portal, and here, all of these icons you see, that's actually really part of the marketplace. You can think of these as shortcuts, basically. So these are basically just a list of some of the most common services you would probably use on the Azure portal. And we've did briefly touch on this in one of the previous episodes. These are actually shortcuts to templates on the Azure marketplace. Now, if you want to actually go into the Azure marketplace, another way you can go and do that is to actually go click here where it says create a resource. Also something we actually briefly touched on previously when I had to explain to you guys about the different kinds of categories we get. Now here you can see there's a very big list of all the categories you get. All of the stuff you see here, this is actually the Azure Marketplace. You can actually even see here in the search bar, it says search services and marketplace. So this is the marketplace. Everything you see here is basically templates. So if I wanna go and create something, let's say it be a virtual machine, or let's say it be a SQL database, I'm gonna run a search for virtual machine. You can run a search here for just about anything. It's gonna give me a bunch of results. There we go. Virtual machine. I can now just go ahead and click on create and it's gonna use that for the most part pre-prepared template and allow me to create a virtual machine. So if I were to go click there, what do I wanna create? Virtual machine, yes please. You can see it takes me to the exact same window or page we were on previously when we were creating virtual machines in the previous lessons. It's basically a template. All right, let's do another one. Right, here we are again. So I'm going to run a search for SQL database. As you can see, it gives me a whole bunch of templates of what it thinks I'm looking for. And if I scroll down, there's the normal SQL database. And I can go ahead there and click on create. You'll notice there's a lot of other vendors here as well. So, I mean, they've got templates from all the major vendors here. It's not just Microsoft. SQL database. And here we go, same template. So this is gonna get you up and running very, very quickly. It's the same as when I actually went ahead here to the navigation pane and just click on SQL databases there. This is just basically a shortcut. So if you don't have a shortcut here, you can just go run a search for it in the marketplace and you'll find it. 
So up until now, we've only been in the marketplace in the actual portal itself. But before we go and show you guys the second method, I just want to show you that you can actually search for other vendors as well. So I'm going to go back to marketplace. Let's run a search for Oracle. You can see, I mean, they've got all kinds of Oracle stuff here as well. Look at that. So they've got all the major vendors on here. Um, at the end of the day, you can just go ahead and just choose the template that you want. And Bob is your uncle. A second way you can access the Azure Marketplace is by going to the following URL. So I'm going to paste it in here for you guys. As you can see, azuremarketplace.microsoft.com forward slash English dash US. If you go here, this is actually the same thing. You can go run a search for the same things. I can go run a search for a virtual machine, for a SQL database, you name it. Here you go virtual machine. This is actually the same thing. So I can go click here on get it now to provide your Microsoft account. Remember, it doesn't know where you want to go and add this to. So you're going to have to go provide your life ID, your main life ID that's associated with your subscription. So in my case, that's going to be this ID here at the top. So you can see it says burning ice tech nine at outlook.com for today. So that's the one I'm going to have to go and provide here. It's going to sign in and it's going to go and add that virtual machine to that account. It's as easy as that. Now, what's nice about this is regarding the billing, it's automatically going to go and add it to your account. So whether you go and do it via the actual portal itself, via this marketplace, or whether you go to the URL I just typed in here at the top, it doesn't matter what you go and add, it's automatically going to start billing in the background. You don't have to go and purchase licenses separately, you know, kind of like buying batteries separately for a toy or an accessory. None of that's needed. You just go and choose what you need. It's automatically going to go and build you in the background. Now that convenience is something I really can make use of. All right, everyone. So that is the Azure Marketplace. Now you know what it is. You know how to go and access it. I've shown you guys two ways to go and access it. So please give this video a like. It really does help me out and my channel. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Otherwise, you're not going to know when the next episode comes out or when a new series gets released. Thank you guys for watching this episode. See you guys on the next one. Let me. Hey. Mm -hmm.